network flight. We have, we've got TV now, flight. Capcom, we're getting some. Hello, Houston, this is Apollo 8. We have a television camera pointed directly at the Earth now. Flight and network, uh, the stations report a good sync pulse, but no live Roger, video. Frank, we're uh, picking something up on our TV. Uh, it's not very good so far, but... Say a no live video. Second, we'll have more than second. They're getting a good sync pulse, but no live video at this time. Okay, it's coming into view now, Frank. Here we go. It is? Yeah, we have it in the corner of our screen. You're slightly off on your pointing, but we're getting a, a yeah, direct word look at the corner of it. Where they report now. Fly to come, that's it, right there. It's moving off, Frank. It's, it's moving off our 3 o'clock uh, on our TV screen. I have no idea what to tell you about which way to point. It's moving further away. We've lost it now. sink and all that. Right, just not in the field of view. Okay. Okay, uh, we're just picking it up at 3 o'clock on our screen. Okay. It's moving up toward 1 o'clock and in toward the center. Keep it going in that direction. Okay. It's looking better. You're, you're holding up about 1 to 2 o'clock. Looking better. Give us a little more in that same direction. You're down at 3 o'clock now. We see about half of what you see. Too much. It's disappearing at our 5 o'clock. Now it's coming back. It's half off screen at our 2 o'clock. And it's disappeared off to our uh, 3 o'clock. It's coming back in now. It's uh, headed toward the center of our screen. Mark, it's right in the center of our screen. And just hold her, hold her steady. It's really looking good. Okay, we have it. What you're seeing, Mike, is... Uh Uh, Houston, what you're seeing is the Western Hemisphere looking at uh, the top is the North Pole. In the center, just lower to the center, is South America. All the way down to Cape Horn. I can see Baja, California, and uh, the southwestern part of the United States. There's a big pond cloud bank going northeast. Covers a lot of the Gulf of Mexico, going up to the eastern part of the United States. And it appears now that the east coast is cloudy. I can see clouds over uh, parts of Mexico. The parts of Central America are clear. And we can also see the light bright spot of the uh, subsolar point on the light side of the uh, Earth. Now, Roger, could you give us some idea about the colors? And also, could you try a slight maneuver? It's disappearing. Uh, we think about half of it. It's going off to our 12 o'clock. Now it's going off to our 3 o'clock. Uh, that's the wrong direction. Yeah, that's a good direction. We need another small correction to bring it to our center screen. If you could maneuver uh, toward the Terminator, we're, that's the part of it we're missing. We're getting the, the lighted portion. There you go, that's fine. Stop it right there. Okay, for colors, the waters are all a sort of a royal blue. Clouds, of course, are uh, bright white. 
the reflection off the Earth is, uh, appears much greater than the moon. Uh, the land areas are generally a brownish, uh, sort of dark brownish uh, to light brown in uh, texture. Many of the vortices of clouds can be seen of uh, various weather cells. And that long band of uh, appears serious clouds that extend uh, from the entrance to the uh, Gulf of Mexico going straight out across the Atlantic. The Terminator, of course, comes to the Atlantic Ocean right now. The wing has a slightly better quality picture, but it will interrupt about three seconds if we switch. The southern hemisphere is almost completely clouded over. And up in the North Pole, there's quite a few clouds. Okay. South, uh, southwestern Texas and southwestern United States is clear. I'd say there's some clouds up in the northwest and over uh, in the uh, northeast portion. Roger, could you maneuver toward the Terminator again, please? A little bit more. Stop her right there and hold it. It uh, keeps slipping up a little bit. Could you maneuver slightly more toward the Terminator? Uh, we're getting about half the Earth, Frank. Uh, the top half of it, our top half, which includes the uh, the dark portion, is obscured. Flight GNC. Go. How's the definition? Time of to go to about 3:47 in yaw. Looks pretty good. What'll that do for him? You got to put it down in the middle there. Can you can you see uh, cloud patterns? What's he got, man? 3:49. Uh, that's affirmative. Yeah, good. Okay, Jensen. Are you still seeing it, Justin? Yeah, we're seeing it. Uh, we're, we're missing the uh, the portion of the Earth that's over toward the, the the Terminator. The dark portion of the Earth is uh, we're not picking up. We're getting about three quarters or four fifths of the rest. All uh, right, I'll move it and uh, tell me when I'm getting uh, better or worse, please. Good. Stop right there. Now that's, that's worse, uh, Bill. Go, go back where you were. You made it disappear to our 3 o'clock. Now it's coming back. Okay, stop right there. Now you're back where you were, and we need a motion that's about uh, 90 degrees to that last one you gave us. That's the wrong 90 degrees, 180 degrees away from that one. Stop right there. Okay, now uh, we've lost a different half of it. I need a, a motion 90 degrees to that last one. That's good right there, Bill. That's good right there. Flight Capcom, I got a suggestion to use a polarizing filter. You want to try that and see if it changes anything? Yeah, go ahead. Follow oh, Houston, if you can uh, stick your polarizing filter uh, in front of the camera without disturbing anything else, it might improve the quality slightly.
How's it now, Mike? Uh, it's still looking good. That didn't uh, make much of a change one way or the other, but in general, it's, uh, considering how far away you are, it's looking excellent. Capcom, you got any other suggestions of what you want them to try here? Well, I hope they want to enjoy the picture that we're taking of themselves. How far away from Earth now, Jim, about? We have you about 180,000. Looking at yourself. Alright, you're all looking at yourselves as seen from 180,000 miles out in space. Mike, what I uh, keep imagining is if I'm a some lonely traveler from another planet, what I think about the Earth from this altitude, whether I think it'd be inhabited or not. Don't see anybody waving, is that what you're saying? Well, I'm just kind of curious uh, whether I would land on the blue or the brown part of the Earth. You better hope we land in the blue part. Well, and so are we. So are we, babe. Always for land landing. Roger, our uh, picture is drifting off center again. Uh, if you could make another correction to bring it back, I couldn't tell you which direction, but that you're going the right way. You're going the right way. A little bit more. A little bit more. Uh, whoa, stop right there. That's, that's uh, the best centering we've had, uh, Paul. If you can just hold that, that's perfect. Mike, uh, to give you some idea, Mike, what we can uh, see, we can, uh, I can pick out the uh, southwest coastline of the Gulf and where Houston uh, should be, and also the mouth of the Mississippi. I can see Baja, California. And that particular area. I'm using a monocular which we have aboard. All right, I understand. This is the main power instrument I have. All right, well, we're seeing uh, the entire uh, Earth now, including the, the Terminator. Of course, we can't see anything uh, past the Terminator at all. Are you able, with your binoculars, to see uh, the, the dark horizon or anything past the Terminator? Uh, negative, uh, Mike. We can't see anything past the Terminator with the binoculars or without them. This Earth is just too bright, uh, and it cuts down the uh, night uh, adaptation to see anything on the dark side. Right, I understand. Since this is uh, winter, since this is winter time in the uh, northern hemisphere, we can see all of the South Pole and the Southern Ice Cap, uh, and not too much of the North Pole. Hey, you and Jim better get together. Jim just said he saw the North Pole. Huh? Uh, he's looking out a different window. That's what makes it different. Do you still have the uh, uh, the box? Box? Do you still have the polarizing filter uh, in front of the camera? Negative. Okay. Just try it, uh, putting it back in front yeah, of the camera one more time. Okay. And once again, we need a small attitude correction. Our, um, our Earth is disappearing uh, up and to the right. Our Earth and your Earth. The wrong way, wrong way. A little bit more. Okay, that's fine if you can hold it right there. Up, no, it's slipping back off again. Yeah, keep keep coming a little bit more, a little bit more. Okay, 90 degrees to that direction. That's the wrong 90, the other way. There we go, a little bit more. No, no, wrong way. Wrong way, I'm sorry. 
Keep coming in that direction. No, it, it's gone uh, up at our 12 o'clock. So that last, there we go, it's coming back down, it's coming back down. Bring it down more. Okay, stop. Now we need 90 degrees to that direction again. I hope the next camera has a sight on it. Okay, you 
Houston, how's that for today? That's just fine, Frank. That's uh, that's great. Uh, we'd, we'd like to, uh, at the conclusion here, take uh, three spot meter readings. You can do that any time at your uh, convenience. We'd just like to get some after-the-fact readings on the Earth's intensity. Roger, Jim has got the spot meter out now. Thank you. Is it centered now, Houston? Not quite, Flight Frank. Go. Checkpoint. That's affirmative. That's good right there. Hold that right there. That's good. That's perfect. Flight, you got any final comments? Okay. Good show. Uh, this, uh, this is Apollo 8 signing off for today. Good show, Apollo 8. We appreciate it. See you mañana. Roger. Down here plotting your trajectory, so all's well. He says you're 10 minutes in the moon's sphere of influence.